find a church on fire. Shalalalalala sukuba. I will disturb them until I finish them. Oh, mama, 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 mama. Who are you? Oh, oh you demon. Come out from this one. I prophesy. I prophesy. They say the world will not know you is a lie. Take the anointing to oppress. You take it, you take it, you take it, you take it, you take it. You take it. What? what? For what I know, an end have come. Join us at the Divine Hand of God Ministries International for any of our services. Communion service every first Sunday of the month, 3 p.m. Anointing service every first Thursday of the month, 3 p.m. Abuja Night of Praise and Miracle every third Friday of the month, 10 p.m. D-Wings every second Saturday of the month, 2 p.m. At the Divine Hand of God Auditorium, number 638, Durumi District, Garaki, Area 1. For more information, please call 0803-848-5929 or join us live on Divine Hand TV on my TV. Lord Jesus, look at your people. Touch them. Visit their case. Takabadabagadaya. I prophesy you that your name have turned to a beggar. May your name be turned to a billionaire. I don't know the negative prophecy they give you for so many years. But I, Prophet Omale,
like you. I've been to so many places, searching for a better life. I find no one, nobody like you, nobody. rising up on your feet, wherever you're watching from, all over the country, far and near, this is testimony time. The book of Psalm 140, verse 13 says, surely the righteous shall give thanks unto thy name, and the upright will dwell in your presence. So we are here today, not because of our power, but because of his might and his grace. So let's appreciate God's servant in our house. The great woman of God, the lioness of Zion, the unshakable mama, the light in the darkness. Appreciate grace, grace, hallelujah. And of course, um, when we have a queen, we always have a king. We can't forget our father the oracle, the voice of this generation, the one that has made himself available for us to be liberated. Please let's appreciate our father in the Lord, Dr. Prophet Emmanuel Amale. Appreciate him. Appreciate him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Mama, I appreciate you. I thank you for this real privilege. I'm not taking it for granted. Um, please, um, we'll have to help them with the clap offering. 
If you're expecting your testimony close, if you want to be one of those testifiers during the next day win service, as I call them, they, are, they call their names while they make their way to the altar. Please appreciate them with clap offering. Mrs. Felicia Onyagoro. Appreciate our clap offering. Um, Christiana John. Queen Christiana John. And the last one, don't be the least. Queen Patience David. Appreciate them, appreciate them. I believe we want to testify the next service. Viewers all over the world, this is the wing service. Divine women in God's service. Holding life at the divine hand of God auditorium. Please mind your name and be Christ centered. Praise the Lord. My name is Mrs. Felicia Nyagoro. I'm here to bless the God of this commission, the God of Prophet Emmanuel Umale, for what he did for me and my entire family last year. God really blessed us. Among the blessings, I want to mention this. Three of my daughters delivered last year safely. Them and their children are all alive, doing well. I want to use this means to thank the great, the God of this great commission for what he has done in my life. Blessed be his holy name, in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. That is what the God of this altar, divine hand of God can do. As long as you belong here, you are free and liberated. You're welcome. Praise the Lord. My name is Christiana John. I want to thank God for this great commission. On Thursday 29, when my daughter came to this place, on her way home, she entered into Ambro uh, rituals. Hands. I want to thank God a little. She will come and testify because she's not around. I want to appreciate the great commission of this author that delivered her that day, that did not kill her. I want to thank God. Thank you. Um, this woman is so appreciating God for what God of this commission has done for her. The last service, the daughter left by divine hand of God, um, um, Junction, Area 1, Gwagwalada Park. She entered into a car that is full of hoodlums and they are ritualists. But of God, of course, the God of this commission is always alive. Rescued her, and she was unable to fall into their trap. So bless God and praise God. Praise the Lord. Children of God, praise Master Jesus. I am here to return all the glory, honor, adoration, dominion, praise to the King of kings and the Lord of lords, the God of this commission using our mama last meeting to touch my life. If, if, you, if you can remember me, you will really understand what really took place in this place. I don't want to take it for granted. I want to return all glory to the King of kings for the grace upon our mama, for that which God used her to do in my life. I am here to return all the glory for before now, before that day, I understand that so many things have been happening around my life. But God used mama to touch me that day, to subdue the agenda of the enemy upon my life. I am here to say may, the all, may all glory, honor return unto God alone. And mama, more grace to you. May you live long, ma. You are indeed the lion of, of our, uh, the lioness of our time. May the name of the Lord be exalted through you in this generation in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. These are all, all awesome testimonies. That is what God of this commission can do. And that is what God of Prophetess Deborah Omale can do. Please, let's appreciate God. Appreciate yourself for listening for this testimony. And let's cover our testifiers with the blood of Jesus. Use this minute to tell your God that by next season, which is next month, the wind service, you want to stand and testify to the glorification of God's name. So let's pray. Shall we all rise on our feet? 
and I appreciate the God of this altar. Father, I will bless you, worship you. Thank you, Jesus, because you're awesome. Thank you, Father, because you, you, your name reigneth forever. We bless those that have come out to testify. I will say their testimony remain permanent in the mighty name of Jesus. And for those, those of us that are looking forward to come and testify, Father, we pray that you make way for us, for us to be able to stand in this exotic altar and praise your name once more again. Thank you, Jesus, because you're awesome. Thank you, Father, because you are great. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Bless you. I am here to, you know, celebrate with those celebrating their birthday in this month of April. If April is your birthday, please can you just stand up as we pray with you. Hallelujah. Can the church stretch forth their hands and pray for them? Father, we thank you for this lives, oh God. We thank you for adding more years to their day. Lord, we say that be exalted in the name of Jesus. That we age in grace in the name of Jesus. That we not see sickness in the name of Jesus. May the coverage upon our mama be upon them in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' most powerful name, we have given thanks. Somebody tell them happy birthday. Hallelujah. We love you all. Hallelujah. Hey. How many of us can sense that there's something happening in the spirit? Hey. Are we noticing that our joy is increasing? I just want us to worship the Lord for a few minutes before I share the word briefly. But today is going to be all about praise and worship. How many of us are ready? Hallelujah. You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for arguments. You are God all by yourself. You are God. From beginning to the end, there's no place for arguments. You are God all by yourself. Somebody lift your voice and say, You are God. From beginning. in that song how many people's testimonies in that song that hallelujah whatever it is that has been contesting with the place of God for your life I want you to know that there is just one God and everything he says stands over your life we're going to sing it one more time from a place of understanding and if you don't know the song whatever song is in your spirit right now I want you to lift it up in worship Let's just call upon the glory of the Lord in this place. Let's use our song that we begin to saturate this environment with the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody lift your voice and say,
your name we magnify you for your faithfulness and for your kindness you alone will get the glory for what will happen in this place today in Jesus mighty name we worship you may take your seats in the presence of the Lord hallelujah hallelujah let's put our hands together for ourselves I like the spirit I like the spirit our, our spirit is in agreement Praise the Lord. Let's celebrate our Papa, the prophet of liberation. Come on, rise to your feet. Let's celebrate him. Hallelujah. Celebrate Papa. Celebrate him. His spirit is here with us. Hallelujah. Celebrate yourselves as well. You may be seated. I thank God for the life of our Papa. And I thank God for the grace upon his head. That grace will speak for us today in the name of Jesus. That grace will open doors for us today in the name of Jesus. That grace will make a way for us today in the name of Jesus. Very briefly, before we worship with the minister of God, Pastor David G., I'm going to share with you a message that by the help of the Holy Spirit I have titled, Focus on your path. Praise the Lord. Focus on your assignment. Focus on that thing that you know in your heart that God has said, this is what you should be doing. And we'll be taking our Bible reading from the book of Habakkuk 2. I'll read from verse 1 to 3. The burden which Habakkuk the prophet did see. Oh Lord, how long shall I cry? And how will thou not hear even the cry unto thee for violence and will not save? Why dost thou show me iniquity and cause me to behold grievance? For spoiling and violence are before me, and there are they that rise up strife and contention. Ecclesiastes 9, I'll read just 10a. Whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, do it with their might. People of God, I want to tell us, in the walk of life, resistance will come. Delay will come. Setback will come. There will be times when, like the prophet Habakkuk was speaking to God. God, why are you not hearing me? I am crying unto you. Can't you see the wickedness around me? Can't you see the violence around me? Can't you see the lawlessness around me? Can't you see that... I am being oppressed. Some of us are asking that question. And if you read further down, the Lord answered Habakkuk. He said, wait and see. And this is my favorite part. He said, I will send the Babylonians to come into the land and oppress the people that are oppressing you. But you know what got me interested was the fact that even the Babylonians were wicked people. So at the same time, Prophet Habakkuk was saying, God, I don't understand. These same people that you're saying you are going to send, they are even more worse than these people that are oppressing me. They are even more wicked. They are the ones that are even more evil. God said, I know what I am doing. Stand still and see. I want to tell you, child of God, if you have a vision, if you have a destiny, focus on it. Every single one of us have different challenges. Praise the Lord. And just like Habakkuk, you might be asking, 
God, how are you going to do it? Why are you sitting down? I've been praying to you, my children are not coming. God, what is happening? I've been asking you, I want to start a business. Why is my business not thriving? How come I haven't gotten any money to start? God, what is happening? You have many, many questions. It is okay to have questions. But the problem is, don't try and solve them by yourself. That's why I started with that song. He is God from the beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. Praise the Lord. Your neighbor is not your focus. That troublesome in-law is not your focus. That woman who will not allow you to rest is not your focus. Praise the Lord. That neighbor that constantly just does things just to make you quarrel is not your focus. A man or woman who is destined for greatness must learn to what? Focus on what is important. In a bit to try, you know, in a bit to solve your own problems, we end up making more mistakes. Why? I tell people something. Do not allow yourself to fall into sin because of the mistake of another person. The human part of us wants to always explain. The human part of us wants to always quarrel. The human part of us wants to always argue. The human part of us wants to speak so that people will know we are right, especially when you have been tagged a troublemaker or somebody who likes to fight in your compound. You know, when things happen, most times you, it's important we also ask, what prompted the fight? Hallelujah. You are not a mad person. Praise the Lord. So every time you're, you're in that quarrel with your neighbor and it looks like, oh, they've given you a name that God has not given to you. I am telling you that is just a distraction. She or he is a distraction to assignment. You have been called queens. How do queens operate? When they mention your name anywhere, what is the first thing that will come to people's mind? A woman who is working in focus. When they call her name somewhere, they'll say she's very diligent. She's very organized. She's very hardworking. She's very prayerful. She is very godly. Just take a minute and ask yourself, if my name is mentioned somewhere, what will people say? And get it, it's not everything that is said is true, but sometimes you need to step back and analyze yourself for yourself because nobody will tell you truth more than yourself. You know what you are. So this is the case. This is what I'm talking about. A situation where you know what you are. Are you known as a quarrelsome person? Are you known as a wife that they give 1,000, cannot produce one naira on top of the 1,000? You want to buy the latest things in town. You know we women, we like fashion. So anything we see that is nice, is not our fault. Hallelujah. It's not our fault. So I'm not saying it, you know, to blame. I do as well. But when you are a woman of focus, you learn to lay your priorities right. Praise the Lord. You learn to arrange yourself. You stand with your husband in a place of understanding, in a place of arrangement, in a place of prayer. So that when he is on his own, when they ask him, or even when he's sitting on his own, let me tell you, you might not hear it all the time, but they know who you are to them. How many women understand what I'm trying to say? You might not hear it all the time. And, 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 and I'm not trying to be a feminist here, but a lot of Nigerian men don't know how to tell their wives. You know, I love you, I appreciate you, what you are doing, you know, I, you know, it's not sometimes, it's our culture. Some of them are learning, and they will keep learning, praise the Lord. So even if you don't hear it, doesn't mean you are not special. Doesn't mean you are not valued. But what I want us to begin to do from today is not ask questions like Habakkuk. Because whatever it is that is oppressing you, you will sit down and God will send people. People that you don't even know of. People that you've never heard of. To come and fight for you where you cannot fight. In the mighty name of Jesus, from today we will not be distracted with irrelevant things. With irrelevant issues. With irrelevant quarrel. With irre you know, irrelevant circumstances. We will not be distracted. We will do that which God has ordained and called us to do. As a man listening to me here, let me tell you, even if things are not working, like Habakkuk, you are questioning God. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Stand still. 
God is not looking for people that can fight for themselves. Some of us seated, as you're seated, you know who your problem is. But I'm here to tell you, dwelling on that person, you are just shifting your mind from what you should be praying for. Praise the Lord. Instead of saying, oh, this mama so-so that is always bothering me, she will not allow me to rest. She's always gossiping about me. That is not your problem. When you go to your altar, Father, fill me with fresh fire. Make me a walking fire. In my office, let your blood speak for me. You are not going to go to God and start bothering him because he knows the end from the beginning. Praise the Lord. He knows the end from the beginning. God, revive my prayer altar. Revive my prayer life. Lord, let your grace work for me. Let your anointing work for me. When I go for this job today, God, I'm going to get it. Let the queen that I've been referred to as, let it begin to manifest in my life. Let the king that I've been referred to as, let it begin to manifest in my life. Not God. This woman is always, or this man is always, or you stand and you're quarreling. From today, from today, wherever your name is mentioned, it will be that of this is a godly woman. This is an anointed woman. This woman is a woman that knows her tomorrow. This woman is a woman that knows her destiny. And that's why you can't be with everybody. In focusing on your assignment, you cannot be with everybody. Let me tell you, whether or not we like it, bad company, it corrupts. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. If you're here and you believe in gathering 10 people as your friends, I don't have a problem in gathering them. But on your own, when you sit down, ask yourself, what do I gain from these people? There are some men, they have friends that the only time they invite them out is to go and drink. This is where you ask yourself, okay, this is my friend. How come he has never said, let's put a proposal together? This, my friend, how come he has never said, what can we do, my brother, to make our lives better? It is to go and sit somewhere and watch football, and you know how to play more than even the people that are in the screen. You are there shouting. Some of them, will, you know, will be doing boxing. You need to see where some men are so engrossed in boxing. They are on their, you know, and it's amazing. How I wish we would put the same effort into our lives. Praise the Lord. So if you are a man and you're a woman of focus, from today, begin to think differently. How far you go in life has a lot to do with you. It has a lot to do with you. What you spend your time doing. Some of us are very lazy. It is a spirit. You are going to pray it out today. Some of us, we can sleep from 9 to 10. Wake up, maybe make lunch, go back. Praise the Lord. You don't want to walk. The world is not like before. Where you can have 15 naira, you will cook soup. Now with 15 naira, that is what will take you to even the market. It might not even be enough. Hallelujah. Are you a help meet? That's what the Bible refers to when it says, what are you doing to support your foundation, to support your marriage, to support your husband? Even if you don't have business to do, don't be known as a lazy wife. Let him know you as a woman who constantly upholds him in prayer. Even those of you that are here that are not yet married, this is a lesson to you as well. It is not easy to live in this world. It is not easy to be a man. Neither is it easy to be a woman. Because even the ones they refer to as housewife do more work than the ones that go to office. Praise the Lord. You wake up in the morning, you bathe the children, you look after the husband, you clean the house, you wash the clothes, you iron, you do everything you know how to do. And somebody will say housewife, even housewife now work. But what am I trying to say? In all of this thing, what is your focus? Do it well unto the glory of God. Praise the Lord. Do it well unto the glory of God. Do it well unto the world, the glory of God. Your focus and your vision. Let it match what you are speaking with your mouth. You cannot say, God, I want to be a millionaire. And 11 o'clock, 10 o'clock in the morning, you are still in your bed. How, do, how does it work? Can two work together unless they be in agreement? Your spirit must agree with your flesh. Hallelujah. So if you see somebody excelling, look deeply into their life. Learn from it. Take the good part of it and begin to pray about it. From today, like Prophet Habakkuk, we are not going to focus on what is not important. Anyone that is not helping your vision to grow in your marriage, in your ministry, in your business, it is time to what? 
The year is still early. We will not end this year the same way we ended last year. Something must change in our lives. Our life of praise and worship must change. Our life of prayer must change. Whatever it is you're believing God for, the children will come. On this altar we have decreed and they've happened time and time again. It is who will give up first. The devil will always be there to accuse. But I want you to understand that the grace of God is sufficient. It is not by your power, it is not by... You cannot on your own contend with the devil. Praise the Lord. So every time you have that at the back of your mind, that God, I have issues, I have challenges, I have problems, but I know you are God. You have never failed in the lives of other people. I hear them testifying. I see them being delivered. You will not change when it comes to my matter. God is the same. He will not change regardless of who. It is the human beings, the flesh in us, and people that try to rationalize who should be blessed. They will rationalize it. Okay, this one should be blessed. This one should be blessed. I am here to tell you that it doesn't work so with God. He blesses who he will bless. Without apologies, without explanation. Praise the Lord. Let us rise to our feet. And I close with this. If you are, or if you've heard of a battle, when a battle has been won, and there's war in a, in a country or somewhere, and a battle has been won, you don't see the soldiers, or you don't see a soldier still going with a gun to an empty, to, you know, an empty field where there are dead bodies already, and he's going to fight. Who is that soldier going to fight with? When there is a war, I take it again, and the war has been won, and victory has already been proclaimed. You now see a soldier, after war has been won, he will now carry his gun and his machine gun and go to the war front and start shooting. Okay, so that's you. If you still believe that God has died for you, Jesus died for you, made a way for you, interceding for you constantly, all of that has been won. Your focus is how to bring all that has been decreed in the world to start happening in your life. Your problem is not the war front. You have become like that man who is going into the battleground and shooting and empty dead bodies. They're not going to call you a mad person. Won't you be referred to as a mad person? Talk to me. Won't you be referred to as a mad person? If a battle has been won and that's where you, you carry your gun. So from today, take a step back and begin to do things from the angle of a winner. Because you are. It may delay. It may tarry. It may not happen immediately. But it will happen. I want us to hold firm. Firm. Let the devil get tired. He must tire. And when he gets tired, he will walk away. Praise the Lord. So the thing is, who, who will give in first? Will he give in first or you will give in first? Praise the Lord. Let us all receive the grace to tarry. The grace to be focused. The grace to walk with the anointing of the Holy Ghost. The grace to walk knowing that the blood of Jesus has done the work for us. The grace to do that which we should do and not be distracted by any principalities, by any powers, by any household wickedness. The grace to focus on your assignment. Let it rest upon each and every one of you. In Jesus' mighty name. I've seen somebody who has been here before. The anointing of God upon his life and upon worship is so amazing. And my prayer for you is that as you listen to him, connect to that song. Because the Spirit of God told me that we will get deliverance today from worship and praise. Praise the Lord. Things will happen in this place today. But I want you to connect. I want us to connect. Praise the Lord. I want us to connect. I want us to connect. I want us to connect. How many times have I said that? Connect. Don't be distracted by your neighbor. Don't be distracted by anybody. This is a time that is between you and your God. 
where you will take that song and say, God, this is my prayer. I don't know what else to say, but this is my prayer. Let this song be our prayer. And let those wombs open. Let deliverance take place. Let there be signs and wonders. Let everything that has been a burden, let it be lifted. In the mighty name of Jesus. Please put your hands together as I welcome Pastor David G. Please put your hands together for him. Celebrate him, celebrate him. Celebrate him. He's the pastor of the Amazing Church International, THC, a gospel music minister of high repute, a worship leader and a songwriter, with the album Yahweh, which is currently blessing lives and setting a new tone for gospel music ministry. For the second time in the divine hand of God, Prophetic Ministries International, make welcome Pastor David G. We celebrate you. Once again, great woman, wonderful woman. This ministry is going places. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for the privilege to worship once again. Lift your hands and tell Him, Lord, I'm just in love with you. Go ahead and just express your love to Him. Express your love to him. Yes, Holy Spirit, we are here again in your presence. Who we are, what we are, does not matter anymore. We to be out your glory. It is you that matters right now. Lebo si andi lebo te alada, eti mama lo si ane eti amota yale, eshi mali matuli ani amera, ami mali mo si ane mamera. If you can watch me dance, go ahead. This is not the time to look at anybody or look at your neighbor. In worship, your attention is needed. Just go ahead. Eli mama si ane mamota. For your glory, I will do anything just to see to be all you ask, my king. For your glory. Just to see you, to be old, you ask my king. That's what we are crying from our heart right now. Till Lord, we are ready to do anything. If it means to roll on the floor, we go on our knees just to see your glory. I want to be where you are. I want to be where you are. I want to be where you are. I am tired of the place where I am. I just want to be where you are. I want to be where you are. I want to be where you are. Take my hands, Lord, with you. Pull me closer to you, Jesus. I want to be where you are. Do I live daily with you? Shiva la daba yaga daba. Take me to your place. Lead me to your presence. Oh, I want to be where you are. I want to be where you are. I just want to be where you are. Draw me close to you. To hear you 
said that I'm your friend. Oh, I just want to let you know, Almighty Father, said, you were my desire. Everything that flies around me, nothing else with you. No giants in my life can take your place. No one else. Bless. To you, sir. Hey, 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 hey. Come on, sing it right now. Feel me. Come on. world. No matter how busy, how dangerous the world may be, there are still those to see have peace in God. When it draws them close, they get peace. Draw me nearer, nearer to the Lord. Draw me nearer, nearer to the Lord. My soul says, my song every day. Hey, Father, draw me near. Draw me near.
Say to him, I need you to help me bear my burdens to carry those troubles. Hey, Jesus, I must tell Jesus, I must tell Jesus, I cannot bear my. My body's alone. I must tell Jesus. I must tell Jesus. Hey, I know Jesus will help me. Oh, only Jesus alone. I must I must tell Jesus. I cannot be a man. My body is alone. I must tell Jesus. I must tell Jesus. Jesus will have me. Jesus alone. In the in this world of trouble, in this world of pain, I only have Jesus, the comforter of my soul. In in this world of enemies, hey, I have come to the Calvary, Elevosia, where I can find help, Elevosia, help for my soul. Hey, I must say, Jesus, I must say, Jesus, Elevosia, I cannot be ever. My body is alone. Hey, I must say Jesus. I must say Jesus. Jesus will help me. Jesus alone. If you have something to tell him, go before him. Go before him. If you are distracted, then you are not connected. If your attention is on him, no distraction can take your attention. You are here for him. Go ahead and worship in tongues. Close your eyes and worship him. Asila mi malita jeti ya meleke yebo si ya yela. Eri mamusi ya lima meti ya yela. Eli 
of family, the bodies of career, the bodies of, of destiny, the bodies of relationships, the body of a business that is refusing to grow, the bodies of life, the arrows of the enemy, the traps of the enemy. I must know Jesus. I must know Jesus. I cannot be ever. My body is alone. I must say, Jesus. I must say, Jesus. I know Jesus will help me. Only Jesus.
bigger than the biggest. Is higher than the highest. Is better than the best. Hey! The Lord the Beer. He will abound. The Lord the Beer. I can't have a yaga. He will not so be seen. Hey! When the mountains say they are high, our God is higher than that mountain. No matter what the enemy has buried, God is deeper than that barrier. No matter what they are thrown into, into the sea, there is a one that seated at the depth of the sea. Hey, 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 Alone, <laughs> We have come to hide in your presence. We have come to hide in your presence. Shield us, Lord. Shield us, Lord. In your presence. Shield us, Lord. Shield us, Lord, with your presence. Shield us, Lord. Shield us, Lord, with your presence. is changing. Ministry is changing. Career is changing. Your husband is changing. For good. Your children are changing. Everything is changing. 
lift your hands and just say to him from the depth of your heart, say Yahweh. Yahweh. I call you. Yahweh. In the midst of every situation. Yahweh. Yahweh. Let it fall on me. That the I am 
For this rain, lonely fall of me. I have come again into your breast. Oh, let it rain for your day. Please let it fall of me. Lift your hands and say, Hope for that. Oh! 
Holy Spirit, take us beyond the veil. We want to go beyond the veil. We want to pass from the ordinary to the su supernatural. Just go ahead and, and pray in tongues where you are. Your glory. Send down your glory. Send down your glory, oh God. We need more of you right now. see the presence of the Lord flowing like a river into the heart of someone here. I see that sickness terminated. I see the river flowing through your system and the diseases and viruses in you. I see them flowing out with the river. Oh, I know what joy that fills my soul. Something happened, and now I know, I know it touched me and made me whole. Sing it again, say, touch me. It touched me. 
said if you want to kneel you can kneel in his presence if you want to lie you can lie in his presence anywhere you need his help lay your hands there right now he's touching somebody here I know what joy that fills my soul something happened and now He's touching your soul. He's touching your mind. He's touching your spirit. He's doing it again. Taking your sicknesses away. Your infirmities away. He's making you whole again. He's touching your life again. Ah, he's chasing your enemies away. Giving you a brand new day. He's wiping your tears away. Giving you a new beginning. Ah. He's turning your life around. He's lifting you up again. He's reaching out to you again. He's smile on your face again. Ah, all things are possible. That's what I hear in my spirit. He say in this atmosphere, possible. They are possible. They are possible. <laughs> All things are possible. They are possible. They are possible. They are possible. All things are possible for you. All things are possible. Oh, oh, 
Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. When I don't know what to do, I will wait on you. When I don't know where to go, I will lay before you. In my strength, I will wait on you. Even in my weakness, I still wait on him. Just tell him to fill you up right now. Tell him to fill you up. 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 Fill us up, Lord. Fill us up. 
Fill us up. Father, fill us up. Can you clap your hands together for me? In a world where people are crying every day, touch me, Lord, so I can touch. If you can touch, you can touch your wall. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Go ahead and just tell him, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Give him a shout of victory. You know, there was a particular day I was very, very strong. Very, very strong. So I went for a program and I was very weak. I couldn't do much. But when I took the microphone, the Holy Spirit told me, see, just be shouting. I didn't know there were people feeling like myself inside the congregation. I received my healing instantly. And there are people here also that they are going to receive their healing right now. Jump on your feet and shout unto the Lord. right now. I see some of your neighbors, they are still looking like, uh, you know, like they are still in their rooms. Help me push your neighbor say, hey! Look at the other neighbor say, hey, 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 hey. Look at the third neighbor say, hey, hey! No one is permitted to be sad in this place. Am I right? Am I right? You will jump on your feet and give the Lord a shout of hallelujah. Number two, shout hallelujah. Number three, shout hallelujah. Number four, shout hallelujah. Number five, shout hallelujah. Number six, do like this, shout hallelujah. Number seven, you are going to run around this place and shout. 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 You are still standing in your seat. You are still standing there. Run around and shout hallelujah. at you as if as if you're on the same realm. They don't know that your trust is in God. We, we don't trust in, uh, in horses, not in chariots. We don't even trust in Malachi. We don't trust in our properties. Our trust is in him. And because our trust is in him, the things that the world seek after, they are bringing them to us. Hey, lift your voice and shout once again. Yeah. Lion of Judah, my trust is in you. Ancient of this, my trust is in you. I am that I am. My trust is in you. Wave your hands. I put the money, I put 
at the Divine Hand of God Ministries International for any of our services. Communion service every first Sunday of the month, 3 p.m. Anointing service every first Thursday of the month, 3 p.m. Abuja Night of Praise and Miracle every third Friday of the month, 10 p.m. D-Wings every second Saturday of the month, 2 p.m. At the Divine Hand of God Auditorium, Number 638, Durumi District, Garaki, Area 1. For more information, please call 0803-848-5929 or join us live on Divine Hand TV on My TV.